Hey, good morning, everyone. Uh, myself, uh, uh, Jitendra Singh Huda, and I have been the faculty of various institutions in India. Specifically, uh, I have been the bi biology faculty in various institutions of India, focusing on the NEET examination or earlier it was called as your earlier it was basically called as your AIPMT examinations so the thing today which I am doing for you guys I need aspirant guys for the UG uh, admissions is the flow chart or the pattern by which uh, they will be uh, getting questions and the pattern which they have to follow so that they can get a larger uh, score a uh, score of approximately 500 so that they can get an admission in any of the medical colleges in India now if I basically talk about the pattern of 2017 that is 2017 NEET examination that will be basically having um, uh, uh, three major subjects the first major subject of course will be your biology and this biology will be having approximately not approximately will be having exactly 90 questions then you have the physics portions with you then you have the chemistry portions with you and this chemistry will be having and physics will be having 45 45 each that means totally you will be having 180 questions now out of these 180 questions keep in the mind that each question will be uh, of approximately 4 marks so that means the total marks will be equal to 720 and out of 720 you approximate, approximately need 500 numbers so that you can go higher or you can get um, the admission in the uh, medical colleges now I am telling you the basic tactics before before to the tactics, let me come on to the uh, 2017 examination. It is thought to be in the May, and the uh, guidelines and the instructions of it will be starting in the first week of Jan. First week of Jan will be having the notification from the CBSE, and this examination need to the 17 will be taking place in the May portion. Now uh, let let me have. A quick recall uh, how to go with the biological science portion now I will be uh, dealing with certain more videos to help you guys with the two major subjects the first one is biology and the next one is chemistry and since uh, it's just because I am a biochemist by nature so I will be helping you uh, with the biochemistry portions as well as the bio and the chemistry portions related to the NEET examination now if we have to deal with the biological science portion you need to know you need to know that 70 questions of out of 90 questions are coming solely from NCERT this is uh, keeping in the mind keeping in the mind your uh, uh, need to examination of 2016 uh, I have given you this information now if you guys are throwing the NCRT of your 11th class and of your 12th class that means you can get 70 questions very easily now if you are getting 70 questions right that means you are getting 280 marks very easily the next question comes uh, what about the 20 questions now now out of the 20 questions we will be having 5 questions which you don't have to attempt we don't have to attempt it right attempt attempt nahi karna hai usko then you have 5 questions which are basically uh, of higher level and you have approximately 10 questions which are basically are basically are called as the hot questions and these hot questions you can attempt a few and that means out of this if you attempt approximately 5 questions out of 20 questions then you can get 20 marks easily and you add this to here you will be getting 300 marks from
from the biological portion out of 360 easily when you are thorough with the NCRT from top to the bottom that means you need to have the mastery you need to have mastery in each and every word of the NCRT including the uh, the biologist whose descriptions are given just before the unit uh, is about to start now let's move on to the next physics and the chemistry portion now out of this out of 45 questions if you are attempting 25 questions which are right and if you are attempting 25 questions here from the chemistry portions which are right that means totally you are attempting 50 questions from the uh, 90 question out of 90 questions you are attempting 50 questions from physics and chemistry then you are basically uh, getting 200 marks multiplying it with the 4 now when you are adding up this thing over here here in this portion what you are getting 300 plus 200 that gives you 500 score a score of 500 very easily now this is the journal view which I have given you guys now uh, uh, this is the view for the journal students now the very important thing which I would like to let you guys to know and understand is that this is just a view and you can uh, like plan it off in this way when you are thorough with the NCERT at that period of time when you are thorough with the NCERT of 11th and 12th now uh, at that period of time you need to go for higher books Dinesh ABC or any other books like GRB you can go for these all books only when when you are thorough with the books of your 11th and 12th class NCRT keep in the mind that focus more on the 11th class NCRT just because 60 percentage of the questions will be from 11th class NCRT in this 70 questions and this will be having 40 questions now so keep in the mind 11th is more important than the 12th as the syllabus in the 11th class is pretty higher so you need to go in more detail with the 11th class so I feel I have given you a brief introduction about how the things will go on. Let me re recall the things once again. Uh, first of all, my name is Chitendra Singh Huda and I have been the ex-faculty of various institutions in India dealing with the NEET or the AIPMT examination. Now this video specifically I am making for the aspirant of the NEET 2017 examination which will be which, whose notification will be there in the Jan. Uh, first week of the Jan and the examination will be taking place in the May month. Now, uh, I am talking basically about the journal flow of it. Journal flow basically have the 90 questions from the biological science. Physics will be having 45 questions. Chemistry will be having 45 questions. In total, we have 180 question and one question will be of 4 marks. That will be 720, question, 720 marks will be there. Uh, out of that, it is generally advised that you need to have approximately 500 marks so that you can get admission in uh, the medical colleges in India. 500 is just an value. Uh, the cutoff can go a bit higher and bit lower also. Now, when we are talking about the biological science portion, uh, 70 questions or 90 questions are coming based solely from the NCRT of the 11th and 12th class. Uh, 11th class NCRT is basically having 60 questions, 60 percentage of the questions and the 12th class NCRT is having 40 percent of the question. When you are attempting these 70 questions rightly, that means you are getting approximately 280 marks and rest 20 questions out of the 90 question of the biology is having this particular flow. That means it is five of the questions you don't need to attempt five questions according to me are of very high level and 10 questions are basically the hot questions so out of these 20 questions you can solely attempt if, if attempting four five questions five questions then you can get easily 20 marks of it that means you are totally adding 300 marks from the biological science, biological science portions and when you're talking about the physics and the chemistry portion that means if you're attempting half of the questions approximately 25-25 each you are getting 50 questions 50 marks very easily that means you are having 200 marks in your turn uh, from the physics and the chemistry portion when you are adding with this of uh, the 300 marks of the biology you are easily getting the score of 500 
and thoda sa if you are dealing with the higher books after going through these books when you are dealing with the high books like this you will be easily scoring up greater marks so it is bestly advised that uh, when you are thorough with the ncert of this uh, biological science portion go with these books and then practice the question papers of the previous year and uh, the practice test of the various institution you can practice and you can easily score higher marks in the neat examinations so with this in the next lecture in the next series of the lectures we'll be focusing on the biological biological science portion first and then we'll be discussing with discussing with the chemical science portions so with this i'm signing off for today and thank you very much